Drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video I'll cover the use of Brewfather recipes with the Grainfather Connect and also transferring these recipes to other types of brewing software like Beersmith. As many of you have already noticed, I have started sharing my new recipes via Brewfather. There are various reasons for this. Firstly, I am brewing with various different brewing systems these days, and Brewfather supports profiles for many brewing systems by standard, and has the facility to support new systems of your choosing via a customised profile. It is also key that this software can be used for free with certain restrictions, so this allows brewers of all types to utilise my recipes more readily. I've also noticed that more and more brewers are moving over to Brewfather, like I have, really enjoying the flexibility that is offered, being accessible on any device with a browser for no extra fee, and also the fact that it is very accurate and has a wide array of features. The easy way that you can share recipes via Brewfather has also helped it gain popularity, and there is also a Facebook group for sharing recipes for the platform. So let's get started. If you do not currently have a Brewfather account, then you need to start off by creating one. You can make one for free and all you need to supply is an email address and password. This is faster if you use a Facebook or Google account, or alternatively you can verify via email. Either way, this is an easy and painless experience. When you first make an account, you will get a full month of premium membership for free. After this, if you decide not to become premium, then you will be limited to 10 recipes saved at one time and no import or export. Premium membership is $199 US per month or $19.99 annually. When I or other sources share a recipe from Brewfather, this comes in the form of an internet link. If you have an account and click on this link, then you will see this recipe summary. You will notice that on the right hand side of the screen there is this plus button. Click on this and you will add the recipe to your account. Nice and easy. Naturally there's a lot of things that you can do from this screen but let's focus on the export which can be found here. From here select beer XML. This will then save the XML file to your computer. If you're a Grainfather Connects user you can use this file to import into the Grainfather recipe tools via the import function. Do not forget to save it after you've done this. The method in Beersmith is much the same. Go to open file and this will then import the recipe once you select it. Of course you want to make sure again that you save it. You will find that many other types of brewing software also have the feature of importing recipes via the XML format. Do be aware though that some brewing software is not as compliant with this format as others. Equally, some brewing software is not as accurate as others. I can only really vouch for the accuracy of Brewfather and Beersmith, having not used many others. This now brings this video to a close. If you have any questions, then please let me know via YouTube or Facebook. I do hope that you found this video to be useful, interesting and enjoyable. If appropriate, then please like this video on YouTube, and if you've not done so already, then please subscribe. I regularly post new content. Happy brewing!